now you can see that the image has been imported and it's aligned with the properties as well as the streets here. Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video uh, I'm going to show you guys a new way to import a geo-referenced Google Earth image into your AutoCAD drawings. Uh, I actually made a video showing how to import images, uh, which you may have already seen. I did that about two years ago and it's uh, one of the most popular videos and I still get questions about it all the time. Uh, so about a month ago, um, I reached out to a new software, uh, Plex Earth. It's been around for a little while and they've got a new version coming out. Uh, and it allows you to link your AutoCAD drawing uh, to Google Earth in a way that lets you automatically import a scaled and geo-referenced image into your drawing quickly and easily. In the coming weeks and months, I'll be showing off a few other features, including uh, creating a terrain model uh, using Google Earth data, as well as doing a giveaway with Plex Earth uh, to give you guys uh, some free licenses for uh, three-month trials for the software. Uh, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel as well as my Twitter uh, to keep updated on uh, when we'll be doing those giveaways. Uh, so let's... Like I mentioned before, uh, this is one of the most popular videos on my channel, uh, the original how to import a Google Earth image. And I use the same area, so I'm going to do the same, same location again, and we're going to use Plex Earth to import the Google Earth image. I've had people comment on that video that they liked this software, so I reached out to them and uh, to see if I could get an advanced copy, which this is their newest version. Uh, it's still in beta, but once it comes out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Uh, in the meantime, you can pick up their older version on their website, which I'll link in the description. Uh, and using Plex Earth, uh, once you've got it installed, it's going to add a tab to your ribbon up here, and I've got Plex Earth 4, the newest version. And when you click onto it here, once you've set up your account and uh, entered in your, your serial or activation number, you'll have access to, to all of these new tools. The one we're going to focus on today uh, is import imagery, and there's a few ways you can import an image. You can use it uh, by selecting an area. And to do that, you're going to need to have a drawing that's uh, in the correct coordinates and uh, geo-referenced area uh, for your project. If you're just using like a 0, 0 or an unreferenced drawing, that's not going to work. Uh, I've already imported the city property lines for the exact same area I did in the old video, which I'll put a link to as well in the description. So we're going to go and we're going to import imagery. And Plex Earth is going to ask us how we'd like to uh, choose the area. You can use the by area command, which you would just highlight the area. You can use the by Google Earth view. And in this case, you can just open up Google Earth, zoom in to the area that you want, and then go in and select that area by using the by Google Earth view. Or you can use a, uh, a path, which it will import imagery along an area that you've uh, identified by a polyline. You can also update options. Uh, I've chosen to use JPEGs for my imagery import, and I'm going to let it uh, save those images that it imports into the drawing folder where my drawing is saved. You can also choose whether to auto merge mosaics. That would be merging multiple images. Uh, you can also go to preferences and send your images to the back of the drawing automatically. I've turned that on uh, and I've left the other options off. So we're going to use the by area command and we're going to select our area by hitting choose. We're just going to select an area here. Plex Earth is going to calculate how many image tiles that covers in Google Earth. It's going to let you know before you download them. So I'm going to say continue. Four tiles is okay.
you can see it knows the area of the image. It's zoomed into it. And right now it's just downloading the various tiles that are included in the area I've chosen. Now you can see that the image has been imported and it's aligned with the properties as well as the streets here. And you can see that I haven't had to scale or align this drawing. It aligns with all of the properties automatically uh, because I'm using a uh, geo-referenced uh, cadaster or a lot, lot lines that I've downloaded from the local city. And it's automatically placed the image here for me. So that's a real quick explanation and demo of how Plex Earth works. Uh, again, like I've said, I've had this software for about a month now, and I've used it on a few little projects here and there, trying to get a hang of it. And so far, I really like it. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you're into civil uh, design and need to bring in Google Earth images. Uh, it's definitely worth the yearly cost. Uh, again, I'll leave a link in the description. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at CADintentions. Uh, as well as subscribe to the channel because I'll be giving away uh, some licenses for Plex Earth in the next uh, little while as soon as the new version is ready to come out. Uh, thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions or comments at all, make sure you leave them below. Cheers! Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.